Today we came out here to get swamp tea um, and to harvest it so we could use it in our tea. Swamp tea is a leaf that comes from an evergreen shrub that is used as a traditional medicine and beverage by the native people of the area. Swamp tea is high in vitamin C. Um, it's really good for colds, coughs, things like that, helping clear the lungs. Um, it's good for constipation. It helps kind of settle the stomach. It's a hard uh, flavor to describe. It's very floral and spicy at the same time. Um, it's really similar to a black tea in, in flavor, I think, but it definitely has its own unique kind of floral spice to it. You find swamp tea in the swamps, um, in the boggy areas, um, but it really likes really acidic soils. So it's perfect in this conifer to lake kind of environment where we've got a lot of acid and the wetness and the moisture that it needs. It, it has some really good built-in protections to burning, which would have been its natural disturbance. And once it is disturbed in, in that way or in our harvesting, it, it kind of induces it to grow in more. And so if you're to leave an area without harvesting it, it's actually gonna have slower growth because it's not really having to respond to that, um, that disturbance. You're supposed to harvest the ones that look like this um, because the white ones that are fluffy are just grown this year and you gotta wait from the, to ne till next year to harvest those ones. But these ones you can harvest now because they have already been, like they're already ready. The hardest part about swamp tea, I would say, is that when you're getting it like this, you have the little new groans at the top, so it's hard not to accidentally pop the heads off, and then they won't grow again. But they pop if you go like you go like this. So sometimes the head pops off when you're trying to get what you need, and the head pops off, and that's hard because then it won't grow. So you really need to be very careful about how much you harvest off of the plant. Be really aware of not damaging the new shoots that year. And they're really soft and tender when you're harvesting this time of the year. And so you have to be really careful. Cause yeah, it can take, you know, four or five years for it to reach flowering. These plants here, if I had to guess, are, you know, are 30, 40 years old. This plant, just takes such a long time to grow that you you never want to take more than what the new growth is on the plant. So I look at what's grown in for the year and I want to always take less than that.